Firstly, Kirsty, congratulations on winning the SWPL Player of the Month award for October, supported by Parks Motor Group. How does it feel? Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, wasn't really expecting to to get it two times in a row, um, but yeah, I'm I'm delighted. And yeah, um, it's my name on the award. But I think as a as a team this season and then last month, um, it was a really successful month for us. So yeah, I'm delighted. We're here at the Scottish Football History Museum. Uh, given the fact that you have made history, winning the award for the first time in the SWPL back to back, how extra special does that feel? Yeah, it's it's great to be here. Um, it's a great museum and. Great to see all the history in here and yeah, to, to be a small part of the history is, is great and um, yeah, hopefully some more awards to come this season. You've been in great form across September and now October as well. What do you put that down to? Uh, I'm really enjoying my football at the moment. Um, I'm enjoying playing under Joe and the new formation um, and I think that shows on the pitch. As a team, we're, we're playing a, a style of football that's quite new to us but um, yeah everyone's embracing it and um, we're getting really good results and I think that comes down to new formation, new players and yeah um, some really hard work over, over the course of the season so far. You kind of touched upon it there but you have started the season so strongly as a team you're the only unbeaten side as well. What do you put that down to so far? I think just our, our, our hard work and training uh, every day you know no matter how we're playing, we prepare the same way, um, and it shows on the pitch. You know, we've we've prepared every every week um, for the opponent. Um, new formation, Joe's style of play that she wants to play is, is suits the way the the players that we have, and yeah, I think everyone's just enjoying working under her. Yeah. Touching on that, you've been working with her for a few months now. What's it been like working on Joe, and what impact has she had on you and the rest of the squad? Yeah, it's been great. Um, as I said, it's a, she came in with a um, new style of play, um, different tactics, um, a, a good energy. And I think everyone's embraced it and, and really taken to her. And I, as I said, you can see that on the pitch. Um, and me personally, playing with two strikers up, um, up top this time, this season. So I took a little bit of getting used to as well. But um, yeah, we've, we've found our form and um, yeah, we're looking forward to the rest of the season. What are your personal ambitions for the rest of the season? Because you're second behind Rio in the goal scorers chart. Is that something you would like to finish top of, or is it a teammate you be, wouldn't be so bothered? Oh, look, um, I want to score as many goals as I can, but if, if Rio's going to gonna beat me to that title, then she can do that as long as uh, between us we're putting the ball in the back of the net. I think that's all that matters um, for the team. I think that's all Joe will be, will be worried about. It doesn't matter um, who, who puts the ball in the net as long as someone does. And just looking forward a little bit, you're in the quarter-final of the Sky Sports Cup against Birmingham Thistle. What would it mean to you to, to win that trophy again, back-to-back -back as well? Yeah, so we play Birmingham this weekend um, and then, yeah, hopefully we can we can beat Birmingham and get into the semi-final. Um, last season we, we managed to go the full way and it was a great occasion at Tyne Castle. Um, a great result for us and, yeah, um, some big celebrations afterwards as well. So definitely, as a team, it's um, something that will be looking to, to go and win again and um, it's definitely a, a name of ours this season.